আসসালামু আলাইকুম আই এম ডক্টর সাবিক উন্নাহার আফসেপ প্রফেসর বসুন্ধরা আতি মেডিকেল কলেজ টুডে আই এম গোয়িং টু ডিসকাস অ্যাবাউট এনজাইমস দিস ইজ এ ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট আইটেম ফ্রম বায়ো ফিজিক্স অ্যান্ড বায়ো মালিকুলস হুইচ ইজ দ্য ফার্স্ট কাট ফ্রম দ্য বায়ো কেমিস্ট্রি সো হোয়াট ইজ দ্য ডেফিনেশনস আর এনজাইম সো এনজাইমস আর বায়ো ক্যাটালিস্ট প্রডিউসড বাই দ্য লিভিং সেলস প্রোটিন ইন নেচার ইউজুয়ালি প্রোটিন ইন নেচার মে বি এনজাইম ক্যান বি made up of other uh, biomolecules other than protein like uh, nucleic acid also some nucleic acids also known as the enzymes okay so ho says that these are the bio catalysts put usually protein in nature colloidal heat level do not initiate rather accelerate the biochemical reaction and remain unchanged in overall process so characteristics of enzymes are do not initiate reaction accelerate the rate of reaction highly reaction specific uh, do not alter the equilibrium constant of reaction and remain unchanged in the overall process needed in a very small amount activity can be regulated by activation or inhibition as per cellular need so uh, simple enzymes is known as the, the only the protein part of the enzyme is known as, as the simple enzyme as we know the most of the enzymes are protein in nature some enzymes may be uh, made up of bio molecules or uh, other bio molecules like nucleic acid but most of the enzymes are protein in nature so i will discuss about the protein enzymes mainly so simple enzyme are the protein part of the enzyme and hollow enzyme and complex enzyme is made up of protein part of enzyme plus cofactor that is apoenzyme the protein part of the enzyme also known as apoenzyme plus cofactor these two things combinedly uh, 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 creates the hollow enzyme or complex enzyme cofactor are the non protein chemical compounds they may be carbohydrate or they may be uh, vitamins or other things uh, or metallic ions uh, that is bound tightly or loosely with enzymes helps in catalysis so cofactor can be coenzymes mostly these coenzymes are the water soluble vitamins prosthetic groups and inorganic elements such as coenzymes are the non protein organic compound bound by the covalent bond for example vitamin b complex prosthetic groups uh, for example heme and uh, inorganic elements are like zinc iron these are also act as cofactor uh, active site is the small area of enzyme which binds the substrate for catalysis that means enzyme has a different type of site active site is the site where the substrate binds with the enzyme for the catalysis there is another site other than the active site is known as allosteric site specific areas of enzyme other than the active site that regulate the enzyme activity may be inhibit or may be accelerate the enzyme activity and substrate the reactant of the chemical reactions so so what says him chemical reaction is a reactant gula tader ke bola hoy substrate here i have shown the site that is active site allosteric site uh, so how enzyme actually acts that means the what is the mechanism of action of enzyme at first substrate binds with the active site of the enzyme then enzyme substrate complex is formed as per the picture and the substrate is converted into product and product leaves the active site of the enzyme just like the picture uh, so it says uh, how this substrate binds with the enzyme the uh, on this um, how this substrate binds on on this fact enzyme substrate complex uh, can be divided into or can be described by two models one is lock and key model and the one is induced fit model so in case of lock and key model enzyme's active site is very much rigid only substrate with matching shape can fit and it is the older model <coughs> that means it's like a log that is the for one log the, there is only one key but only one key specific for that log so what says this is uh, also shown the substrate specific for the uh, enzyme that means so only a specific substrate only a specific kind of substrate can bind with the enzyme and another uh, model is by another theory is induced fit model so the hair is active site is flexible greater range of substrate uh, specificity and shape of enzyme substrate and active site adjust to maximize the fit tar mane hocche je ekhane 
এখানে সাবস্ট্রেট এতটা স্পেসিফিক না এনজাইমের জন্য মোটামুটি ওয়াইড রেঞ্জ অফ সাবস্ট্রেট ক্যান বাইন্ডস উইথ দ্য এনজাইম অ্যাক্টিভ সাইট অফ দ্য এনজাইম ফর এক্সাম্পল ইফ আই সে দ্য ইফ আই সে অ্যাবাউট দ্য গ্লুকোকাইনাস এনজাইম দ্যাট মিনস দিস এনজাইম অনলি ক্যান বাইন্ড উইথ দ্য গ্লুকোজ বাট ইন কেস অফ হেক্সোকাইনাস এনজাইম ইট ক্যান বাইন্ডস অল দ্য হেক্সোস লাইক গ্লুকোজ ফুকটোজ গ্যালাকটোজ এক্সেট্রা সো factors affecting enzyme activity at first temperature and there is the optimum temperature for every enzyme to work that means on the optimum in uh, temperature enzyme can works maximally beyond this temperature enzyme activity decreases because as i have already said before the most of the enzymes are protein in nature there is a very important characteristics of protein is denaturing activity that means in extreme temperature pressure or chemicals protein tends to denature so uh, beyond the optimum temperature for the specific enzymes the enzyme denatures that's why the enzyme activity diminishes uh, eventually and uh, about the ph there is also optimum ph at which enzyme acts maximally and beyond this optimum ph enzyme activity decreases for the same reason that is denaturation effect and substrate concentration with the rise of the substrate concentration enzyme activity actually increases till the saturation point when all the active site of enzyme are saturated with the substrate then what's beyond this point no more rise of enzyme activity is seen so plot of the initial velocity jodi ami v not diye hocche jodi plot kori versus the substrate concentration for the enzyme catalyzed reaction ekhane ami hocche je ekta graph dekhiyechi jekhane hocche je আচ্ছা দেন যেখানে হচ্ছে যে ভি নটটাকে হতেছি কি আমি ইনিশিয়াল ভেলোসিটি দিয়ে হচ্ছে ডেসক্রাইব করেছি আর মেই ভিমেক্স হচ্ছে যে সাবস্ট্রেটের যে কনসেন্ট্রেশন হচ্ছে যে অ্যাক্টিভিটি মানে এনজাইম শোজ দ্য ম্যাক্সিমাম ভ্যালোসিটি দ্যাট ইজ ডেসক্রাইবড অ্যাজ ভি ম্যাক্স অ্যান্ড কেম ইজ দ্য মাইকেল ইস ম্যানটেন ইজ দ্য হাফ ম্যাক্সিমাম ভ্যালোসিটি দিস দ্য কনসেন্ট্রেশন অফ এনজাইমস হোয়ার দ্য এনজাইম অ্যাক্টিভিটি রিচেস ইটস হাফ ম্যাক্সিমাম ভ্যালোসিটি and enzyme concentration is also a important factor that is velocity of the reaction directly proportional to the enzyme concentration then i have discussed about the classification of enzyme which is given by the international union of medical biochemist so what says it it has been according to a type and mechanism of the enzyme uh, reaction catalyst there are six types that's oxido reductase transferase hydrolase lyase isomerase and ligase uh, uh, oxido reductase usually is to reductase is enzymes usually concerned with the oxidation and reduction reaction and transferase usually concerned with the transfer of a specific group from one substrate to another and hydrolase is usually do the hydrolysis reaction that means the it is a chemical reaction in presence of water and lyase actually they synthesize a new uh, new substance and isomerase just hocche je isomerism occurs in uh, isomerase enzyme usually do the isomerism and ligase is an, another type of synthesis where the uh, atp uh, actually needed and principles of the clin- uh, clinical enzymology why enzymes are clinically important or how enzymes are clinically important that are deficiency of enzyme leads to metabolic disturbances as well as clinical disorders enzyme distribution shows tissue specificity and intracellular location specificity and enzyme activity can be inhibited by reversibly and irreversibly and enzyme can be produced commercially in laboratory by the biomedical engineering and clinical use so that's all for today thank you